All About Causes and Treatment of Hemorrhoids ICD-10 Part 2 What are the signs and symptoms of hemorrhoids ICD-10? The signs and symptoms of hemorrhoids will depend on the type the patient is suffering with, and the symptoms are not exclusively caused by hemorrhoids. Anal bleeding is the most common symptom that is apparent in both internal and external hemorrhoids, however, the sign of blood from the anal region is not certain to be caused by hemorrhoids. Bleeding the anal region should be a major cause for concern, and medical advice should be sought after as soon as possible. While the most common cause of anal bleeding is hemorrhoids, any blood in your stool could indicate more life-threatening diseases such as anal and colorectal cancer. The most common symptoms of hemorrhoids can include Bleeding from the anus. The amount can differ, but anything from spots of blood on tissue paper, to streams of blood evacuating your bowels during a stool movement, can provide evidence of hemorrhoids. Anal itching, and general discomfort around the anal region. The itchiness is more prominent in external hemorrhoids, but this symptom is generally experienced with both types. The presence of an unusual mucus typically adds to the itchiness in and around the anus. Swollen lumps close to the anus may indicate prolapsed internal hemorrhoids or external hemorrhoids. The lumps are usually painful to touch. Discolored lumps protruding from underneath the anus. These typically indicate a thrombosed hemorrhoid, which can be extremely painful and debilitating. The need to pass stool, immediately after a normal bowel movement. This requirement is caused by enlarged hemorrhoid in the anal canal, causing a feeling of discomfort similar to that of constipation. The larger the hemorrhoids, the more uncomfortable this feeling generally is. The majority of symptoms are generally associated with external hemorrhoids, since the protrusion of the swollen vein is more prominent, and an easier target. Internal hemorrhoids usually have little, to no symptoms besides bleeding when passing stool. However, the strain placed on the anus during a bowel movement is often enough to cause an internal hemorrhoid to prolapse, making it a lot more painful and uncomfortable. What are the complications with hemorrhoids ICD-10? Complications from hemorrhoids may differ, depending on whether they are internal or external. However, the majority of people will suffer from both simultaneously at some point. For internal hemorrhoids, the most obvious complications are the uncomfortable itchiness they cause, and the bleeding from the rectum. Itchiness is apparent in both internal and external hemorrhoids, and it is typically caused by the secretion of mucus, which is released by your body to help deal with the situation. The mucus causes an uncomfortable itch, both inside and outside of the anal sphincter. The amount of blood lost during a bowel movement should not be a major concern, as the amount can range anywhere from a few spots on the toilet paper, to a small pool in the toilet bowl. However, the first sign of blood when passing stool should be an indication that it's time to seek medical advice. The major complications from hemorrhoids are most common in the ones which prolapse, and are visible externally. The increased irritation from clothing, and moving around can lead to further itchiness, bleeding, and pain. In the worst case scenario, 
hemorrhoid can begin to fill with blood, which usually clots and hardens, causing thrombosis. Thrombosis can make hemorrhoid swell to a substantial size, and the pain can be extremely uncomfortable, and debilitating. However, the pain will generally subside within a few days, and the chance of requiring surgery is very rare. A skin tag may remain when the healing process is finished, but this will generally cause no complications. With external hemorrhoids, because of the increased size of the swollen vein, it is common to feel the need to pass stool, even though your body has no need to. The feeling can be compared to that of constipation, so the constant need to want to go to the toilet can be uncomfortable for some. How can I treat hemorrhoids? There is a wide range of treatments available for hemorrhoids, depending on the severity, and the type you are dealing with. The majority of hemorrhoids can be treated at home, with the help of a cream, or an ointment which is either purchased over the counter or prescribed by your general practitioner. Hemorrhoids will generally heal themselves within a week or two, and the addition of external treatment is usually to help minimize the symptoms, and to make the healing process a lot more comfortable. The first, and most common method of treating hemorrhoids, is through medication. This mode of treatment is usually the quickest, and most accessible, as the majority are available over the counter. External medications such as creams and ointments should only be used for a short period of time, as prolonged exposure to the sensitive tissues can lead to further complications in the future. Laxatives are another medication which is typically prescribed to people suffering from hemorrhoids. Constipation can increase the amount of swelling in the hemorrhoidal veins, potentially making the situation a lot worse. For a non-medicating treatment, try soothing the affected area in a warm bath. Making sure the water is not too hot, simply soaking the back passage in a small amount of water, a few times per day is a traditional therapy for hemorrhoids, without the need for external medications. Do not use soap, as the additional chemicals can make the affected area worse. On the opposite side of the spectrum, an ice pack or cold compresses may be used to help alleviate some of the swelling, and discomfort. The most promising way to cure hemorrhoids permanently the natural way is a clinically proven home treatment system like Hemorrhoids Vanished by Susan Davis, which is based on recommendations by the Stanford School of Medicine and the American Public Health Association. How can I prevent hemorrhoids? Increasing the amount of soluble fiber in your diet is one way to help prevent the development of hemorrhoids. A healthy, well-balanced diet should consist of at least five servings of fruits and vegetables, nuts, and whole grains. To help keep your bowel movements consistent, it is recommended that you increase the amount of fluid you drink on a daily basis. When sitting on the toilet, it can be difficult to not strain, or hold your breath when trying to pass stool, especially if you are suffering from constipation. Practice relaxing, and allowing the stool to pass naturally. You should never force yourself to go to the toilet. Only take a seat when you are sure you are ready to pass something. If you apply the dietary changes properly, you may see an increased loss of weight, which is more than welcomed, since an increase in body weight can increase the risk of you developing hemorrhoids in the first place. Healthy eating and regular exercise should be the main priority. 
when will I require surgery? If the external hemorrhoids become too inflamed and swollen, and the symptoms are failing to alleviate with traditional medications, then surgery may be required. There are three main methods which are most commonly used. These are 1. Sclerotherapy 2. Banding 3. Infrared coagulation, cauterization. When is traditional surgery used? Although the majority of hemorrhoids can be treated successfully using one of the three aforementioned treatment methods, around 10% of people who suffer from severe hemorrhoids will eventually need traditional surgery. For surgery to become an option, the hemorrhoid must cause extreme pain, which makes it impossible to live with. Subscribe our channel for future videos, visit our website holisticmeaning.com for more informative articles.